Hello everyone and welcome to this quick walkthrough of the Cover Employee app. This app is designed to give you the flexibility of viewing, trading, and picking up shifts quickly and easily while on the go. So first off, when your facility gets set up with Cover, you'll receive an email invite from Cover Notifications. So I see mine right here, welcome to Cover. If I scroll down, I have two links to download the app, whether I'm on Apple or Android, and then I have my login credentials here. So this is my email, which is also going to be my username. This is a temporary password that's going to get me into my account. So I will just copy my email and I'll worry about the password in a second. I've already downloaded my app, so I'll go to cover employee and paste into my username. Might, might ask you to allow it. Now for the password, this password is unique to me. It's a one-time password. Um, it's pretty complicated. I'm just going to select all here instead of that. I'll select just my password and I'll copy that. The password is case sensitive and always has some kind of special character in it. So again, I'll paste my password. And let's log in. Okay, so now we're in and we can create our own password, which we'll move going forward, which we'll use going forward. Uh, let's do something easy. Hit cover one, two, three, four, five, and then it wants a special character as well. Enter that in one more time to confirm. All right. So now I can edit any personal information I want before moving into the app. Uh, I'll skip this for me. Okay, we're finished. So now we get to the cover home page. We have three sections, view my shifts, pick a new shift and view trades. Let's start with view my shifts. So here I can see a list uh, in the date range, which is until March 2nd of all of my shifts that I'm scheduled for. That's the basic information for all of them. And you'll notice that there is this orange trade icon in the corner. So if I click on this, it gives me two options. The first one is propose a trade. So it's gonna show me anybody that uh, I could conceivably uh, trade this shift with. So if I select Brendan for a shift on the fourth and I continue, I could write him a message and then submit that request. And that's gonna show up in his trade inbox and he'll be able to accept that, reject it. Now the other option is asking for relief. And this doesn't immediately trade or drop your shift, but ask other eligible employees to pick up the shift. So now this becomes an eligible shift. And if one of your coworkers wants to pick it up, they have that option in their app. And if you have some kind of family emergency or some, uh, some reason in general, you can tell your fellow employees what's going on and approve. There we go. Now, if we go to these, if we tap on these three dots in the corner, that will take us back to our homepage. Let's look at pick up and uh, pick a new shift. So now we can see a list of all the shifts that my employer has made available for us to pick up. Now, let's maybe start with this one on the fourth and I'll pick it up. Cool, so now this shift is gonna show up in the My Shift section. I'd like another one. Tuesday, February 7th looks good. But this shift would cause me to go into overtime. Uh, so it's not actually gonna let me pick it up. However, there are certain special open shifts uh, with this purple and the green icon. So all the green icon means is that it's overtime eligible. So even if it's going to put me into overtime, I have the ability to pick the shift. And then this is going to show up in my shifts. The purple thumbs up means that my employer has added a bonus to this as well. It's overtime eligible. So I'm going to pick this one up as well. Okay. And that's everything for pick a shift. Now, if somebody had requested to trade a shift with me, or if somebody had requested for relief, I could go into view trades, 
And right now I have no trade offers, but at that point I would have the option to accept or to decline them. So last thing that we're gonna look at in the app is over on the more section. If we go to settings, we can actually modify our personal information. And my name is not spelled like this. So I'm gonna correct that. And that's updated. This works as well for my cell phone. If I didn't submit one or I got a new phone number, I can update it there. And that's everything you need to know for the Cover Employee app. Thanks so much for watching.